Alright. Well, any of my pens work. Oh, hello, folks. Or I'm the one, the only. I am a hobo Tom. Cheers to everyone on this beer night. Yep. A little leftover from Christmas, which is never a bad thing. But you know what? Has that been first while I drink this? Hit my music. <laughs> Ah, that tasted good. Welcome back. Um, these weeks are going to be odd. For some reason, they want me to close a lot during the week. Which frees up my weekends. But it also takes up on my weekday nights. Well, that's weird. But I really shouldn't complain. I just applied to another job. So let's do well. what I'm not getting paid for right now, I guess. Oh, I do have to pick up that. I should get that video game tomorrow. And the groceries. Stuff to do, folks. Hobo's life is never simple. And I still have to process my aluminum, too. That's important. That's money. Even more important. Impact Wrestling. Hard to kill. I cannot find Dr. Tom. He's in hiding. Um... El Hobo Vagabundo is banished because he drank way too much tequila for Christmas. Uh, the technical Blue Ranger, it's after the new year, kind of hung over. So it's just me, the one, the only, Hobo Tom. Now I'm here to talk about Impact Hard to Kill. Uh, this kind of snuck up on me a little bit. And I have to, I have to make this match card. I can do that tomorrow. So tomorrow, during the... Rampage show. I guess they're still having that. I have no clue anymore. I'm not really that up on AEW all of a sudden. I haven't been super excited. I've been excited about them. Not super excited. I've had a bunch of criticisms about them. I'll tell you what. Impact Wrestling is slowly becoming one of my favorite wrestling promotions so let's get this card off let's get this card started right we have 10 men action we have the good brothers take with violent by design that's joe doring eric young and deaner are going to take on eddie edwards heath slater rhino dun, 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 dun. return of the mac willie mac and rich swan to open the show, you have to have the good guys winning. You want someone for the crowd to cheer. Therefore, Eddie Edwards, Heath Slater, Rhino, William Mack, and Rich Swan shall win. Then, probably the most meh exhibition match in a while. We have Trey Miguel taking on Steve Macklin. This could be good. Could be slow in plotting, too. I think just to keep things interesting, Steve Macklin's going to win. It's not necessarily... Should it be? You know what? I'll go ahead and say it. This is my stone cold lock. Steve Macklin wins the belt. He's been talking a lot of smack. He needs to back it up a little bit. Um, we have the inspiration. Whoa. Versus the influence. Yeah, we all know the inspiration is going to win. That's a no-brainer. And you know what? I'm actually going to take a nap with that match. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I can't see the, the influence winning those belts. Doesn't seem right. Then we have our women's ultimate X. Ooh, this could be good. Um, oh, wait. 
I thought it was going to be good. So we have Tasha Steeles versus Lady Frost versus Rachel Ellering versus Jordan Grace versus Chelsea Green. And an alternate X match. I guess they're going to hold the Multimedia Championship up on the X? Ooh. That could be interesting. You know what? I guess he makes it even more interesting. I think Rachel Ellering is going to win that belt. Indeed. And then, in this guy's match of the night. We're going to have Deanna Perazzo versus Mickey James. And I guess a barnyard street fight. This is my match of the night for all the wrong reasons. This is the only match I want to see. Smart Money says Mick, after what the Bunny and Ty Conti did, these someone's someone's going to get busted open, baby. We're going to see Diana Prato with a Makala and Mickey James. Oh, sweet. Mommy booby. Mickey James is going to get color too, baby. I give you a kiss on the head. But yeah, I think Diana Prato is going to win her belt back. Again, that's just... Probably my, my match of the night for all the wrong reasons. Something odd should happen in that match. Something might flop out. You might see something. That's not fair. Then we'll have... I don't know. I hope Impact doesn't become Ring of Honor 2.0. But Jonathan Gershom taking on Chris Saban for the Ring of Honor Championship. You know what? Chris Saban wins. He's a member of the Motor City Machine Gun. He's been in the Ring of Honor before. It makes sense. They want to reload. That's okay. I'm okay with that. Josh Alexander versus Jonas. Again, Bronson Royd, the big Aussie. The big Aussie wins. Down on the Jonas wins. They're going to continue this feud. Hopefully till Slammiversary. And then in the main event match, you're going to have Matt Cardona versus W. Morrissey versus Moose. 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 There's only one animal that's going to win this. Moose. Moose. Moose wins. Although, it was funny at work. It was bored. I'm like, you know what? If Matt Cardona and Chelsea Green came in. I'll have to tell the story about how I have Chelsea Green's autograph. And she was an absolute pleasure to see in NXT when she was she was there. I feel so bad that WWE treated you like crap. But I hate to say it, Matt Cardona. Woo, woo, woo. Moose. 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 That would be cool, though. Again, I have seen Austin Aries and The Undertaker come into the Humble Store. So, yeah. Who knows what's going to happen. Once a year, we're getting pro wrestlers. That's probably good for business, though. And that's Impact Hard to Kill. Yep. Um, so I should be seeing that whole thing. Because I, I have to look at the start time. But I'll be there doing my rr and r show with maybe three seconds of wrestling. So they're getting a little bit tighter. Everything's getting tighter. About what they allow. So, yep, that's it. Oh, wait. I do have some thank yous to give out. I almost forgot about the 21. Yeah, I might as well do that. No, yeah, I'll do that now. Yeah, so I have some thank yous to give out. David Maldonado, you got tossed. Um, tomorrow, I'm making your character in the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. But yeah, see ya, sir. Marbo. Yep, that's right. You totally agreed with me there. Over there on Discord. You, sir. 
You got that six count. So very quickly, some news and notes about next week, because next week is gonna suck. I I give no no qualms. Two rats ass, a fart and a half. About next week's gonna suck. Um. So tomorrow, this week, Friday. Later today. I'll be doing the rampage. Red wine pizza thing because I have to work until 9.30. So I will not be able to watch SmackDown. Sorry though. Hard to kill. Which reminds me I have to find some wildly inappropriate image. But I'll figure that out shortly. Sunday I'm off. Done. Monday I will be doing a live reaction to Monday Night Raw. Tuesday, I have to work the racetrack, so I'm not watching NXT. But that means I will be showing you what the next-gen races look like. So that will be a little bit different. I've done that before. So yeah, put the video there. Wednesday, I have to close, which means no AEW. Thursday, I have to close, which means no Impact. Friday, I have to close, which means it's going to be AEW Rampage. Now, then... I have to wake up on the 15th at 7.45 in the morning? Ouch. I know what I'm doing right after that. Taking a nap. But yeah, that's all we can review. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I hope everyone had a happy new year. Again, you'll see the whole cast of characters back. Um, either they're, they're done their banishment from drinking too much tequila, sobering up, or, I don't know, probably hanging out someplace really ritzy. Places I can't afford. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see everyone. Well, you'll see me.